So here's the spaghetti squash I'm going to be making today. And I think it's called Italian spaghetti squash. So I've just chopped my fresh basil. Actually, I'll just cut it from the plant. I'm soaking it in some water and taking off the bad leaves, and then I'll chop it up. Okay, I have cut the spaghetti squash in half lengthwise. Now I'm going to scoop out the seeds. Okay, I have rubbed each half with uh, olive oil, and I've put my seasoning. Uh, it's said to use salt and pepper. It said to use salt and pepper, but I'm always extra. So I use this and then um, a pack of this. So now I have transferred them to my pan covered in foil. I will place it in the oven on 350 degrees for one hour. While it's in the oven, I will work on the filling. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the original sound, but here we're sauteing onions, bell peppers, and garlic in olive oil until tender. This is what the spaghetti squash looks like, and I'm taking it out the oven, and you're just taking it and shredding it like this, so it resembles. As you can see, it sort of resembles spaghetti. Okay. So this is the filling. I added spinach and black olives to mine, and a can of rotel. Cause, like I said before, I'm extra. So here they are. I have put the marinara sauce on and then I put Parmesan cheese and then the basil. And now I will top with shredded cheese. But I'm going to use a mixture of cheeses, not just all mozzarella, and then in the oven for 12 minutes. So now I have my cheese on top. And now we'll go back in the oven for 12 minutes and then it'll be ready to eat. And here you have it, the finished product, Italian inspired spaghetti squash. Let's try some of this. Mmm, it's actually good. So this is the finished product. It was totally delicious and I can't wait to serve it again. I hope you've enjoyed my video. Please like and subscribe and share.